Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate you a new Laravel feature which was released this week in Laravel 9.59 which is a different syntax, a new syntax to use with has many through and has one through relationships in Eloquent. But I want to start not with the pull request by Tim McDonald himself but from tweet by Taylor Otwell who introduced this feature as part of his tweets about new Laravel release. Every Tuesday it happens, so every weekly Laravel release gets a few more new features presented by Taylor on his Twitter account. And this is what I want to emphasize and reiterate. Lately, Laravel versions, the minor Laravel versions, contain so much new stuff and so many new awesome features, quite big features, that to me personally it became kind of a celebration, weekly celebration of new features and some of the more important ones I show to you on YouTube here that I'm more excited, I become more excited with new release on Tuesday than I am excited for the upcoming Laravel 10 which was postponed a bit for at least a week because they need to polish something but I don't mind. I would be happy with 9.53, 54 and so on because to me that major version update became almost kind of a boring Maybe boring is the wrong word for that, but not many surprises, luckily. Nothing really breaking, not many huge features because those features were released along the way in Laravel 9 branch already. So they don't wait for Big Splash to release something in Laravel 10. And this is what I start really enjoying in Laravel. So every week or every month brings something interesting in new. So 9.51 brought to us this new feature by Tim McDonald, core team member, who suggests to have shorter or more readable syntax for has many through. So the relationship between, for example, project has many environments and environment has many deployments, and then you need to define has many through. And according to Tim, this may be more readable than just this has many through. And even here, there are a few variants of the same syntax. And let me show you in my demo project. So this is my demo project, different from the official documentation. It's users, projects, and tasks. So user has many projects, and then project has many tasks. And we need to query the users with their tasks through the projects. And this is how you used to, and you still can, write has many through. So user has many tasks through project. And if you have PHP Storm or you have some kind of plugin, then it would show you what is the related and what is through, hinting the variables. But if you don't have that hint, maybe it could be difficult for you to read and understand which model is which. So to avoid that, what Tim is suggesting, and let's implement that, this is the syntax. Maybe more readable. Of course, it's a personal preference, but so instead of this tasks, let's define the tasks as this. This through projects has project tasks, something like that. And this specific syntax, in my opinion, isn't more pretty and more readable than this one, personal opinion. But that's not all. First, let's just launch it so I will show you that it actually works in my Tinkerwell. And we have the collection returned with user with tasks. And by the way, did you know only now I've noticed that has many through relationship returns this Laravel through key. I never really needed that and I don't really know the case for that, but maybe you would use that somewhere. So through key, as I understand, is the key, the ID of the project, the intermediate model. So anyway, that works. Let's go to even better syntax. If you are a fan of so-called Laravel magic, how Laravel resolves some of the tasks under the hood and some of the syntaxes, you can define tasks much shorter like this. So instead of this through has and something, you can do tasks, this through relationship name has relationship name like this. We save, we reload, and this should still work. Nothing really changed. So this syntax is much shorter and I would probably prefer that over the older one has many through. But even that is not it. Laravel can use even more magic and this is where we kind of step into the danger zone. Probably the shortest version of that is this. This through relationship name uppercase has relationship name uppercase. Again, if we comment that out, this should still work. We reload, nothing changes. So you can do even this. 
but as I told, it's kind of a danger zone because it's not auto-completable. It's kind of like using where x syntax. It is possible, but then you cannot really click that where x. You can define like where project ID equals something in Eloquent. It is possible, but I would not really recommend that. So this syntax, I don't really approve, but it's a cool fun thing to know. This one is my favorite. Still not sure if it would stick with me in the future over that has many through, and I don't use that many has many through cases, so we'll see in the future. But it's quite a cool improvement of the syntax to make it more readable. What do you think? Would you use that? This through has tasks, or maybe you prefer other options of the new syntax? Post the comment below and let's discuss. And if you want to follow news about Laravel, of course, subscribe to this channel. I keep shooting daily videos for you for Laravel 9 new branches and beyond in Laravel 10. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.